A pressure-reducing valve is an automatic control valve that reduces higher, unregulated inlet pressure to a constant, reduced downstream pressure. The downstream pressure can be set by adjusting a pilot valve. Let's go through the process of setting up a pressure-reducing valve. Before we begin, make sure the manual override switch is pointing towards the solenoid. This will force the solenoid open while we set up the valve. We will switch it back once the valve is set up and we are ready to connect the solenoid to an irrigation controller. If you are not going to use an irrigation controller, keep the manual override switch in the on position. In this setup, water is flowing from left to right. The first step is to release all the air from the control chamber. Turn the three-way tap to the open position. This will vent a little bit of water out of the chamber. Now turn the tap to the closed position. This will apply more water to the chamber. Do this continually until all of the air has been purged from the valve. Turn the tap back to the closed position. Turn the adjustment bolt on the pilot valve counterclockwise until it's loose. This will adjust the pressure setting to zero. Now turn the tap to the auto position. Very carefully and slowly, tighten the adjustment bolt by turning it clockwise until water vents out of the pilot valve. Once water starts venting out of the pilot, the valve will start to open. Wait until the submains fill with water and pressurize. After the submains are charged, slowly and incrementally turn the adjustment bolt clockwise until you reach the pressure you want. After you achieve the desired pressure setting, tighten the lock nut. Now your pressure reducing valve should be ready to go. If you'll be using a controller, don't forget to turn the manual override switch back to the off position.